I'm Sanjay. Um, I'm excited to present our work exploit. Uh, this is a lab leakage attack on split learning. Uh, this work was done while I was a PC student at Georgia Tech with my advisor, Professor Moin Qureshi. Okay, so this is the outline of my talk. I'll start by providing some background um, on privacy in the context of distributed data. Um, and I'll also talk about the split learning framework. Um, and then I'll present uh, details of our attack exploit, which is a label leakage attack. And finally, I'll present some key experimental results comparing the efficacy of our attack exploit with prior work. Okay, so let me get started with, with the background. Thank you. Um, it's okay. So um, we are reliant on a growing number of app and services to carry out um, different tasks related to various aspects of our lives. And as a consequence of this, our data is, is being stored in a distributed fashion across different companies. And while aggregating this data would enable companies to train powerful new machine learning models, doing so is not always possible. And the key reason for this is because of privacy concerns. And these privacy concerns can arise either directly from customer needs or from privacy laws that are made by governments. So a concrete example of such a distributed data where privacy is important arises in the world of online advertising in something called as the conversion prediction task. So let me quickly explain uh, what this task, task looks like. So say you're an advertising company who makes money by showing ads to your users. So typically when a user on your platform clicks on an ad, the user is taken to a product website where the user can uh, either decide to purchase the product or not purchase the product. So conversion prediction tries to model this behavior. Um, so it tries to estimate for a given ad click for a specific user, it tries to estimate the probability that the user ends up making a purchase on the product, on the product website. The interesting thing here is that, um, so also this is, this is useful because like this, is, this forms an important part of uh, ad ranking algorithms. So it is useful in figuring out which ads to show which users. The interesting thing about this problem is that the data that is necessary to train such a conversion prediction model happens to be distributed or partitioned vertically across the advertising and the product website or product companies. So the input attributes, uh, namely the attributes of the, uh, the user as well as the, uh, the ad, that information is held with the advertising company. Whereas the outcome of whether the purchase was made or not, the labels corresponding to each of these inputs, that data is held with the product company. And for various reasons, this data is considered to be private. One of the reasons is that like, for instance, people don't want to be tracked across different websites. So this data cannot, is considered private and cannot be explicitly shared across the two companies. So the key challenge here is that um, we need a mechanism or we need some way to train on vertically partitioned data while protecting the privacy of the two parties involved. So to address this challenge, people have put forth what's called the, the, um, the split learning framework. And as the name suggests, instead of having a single model, split learning tries to have two models or composition of two models that are distributed across the two parties, the input owner and the label owner. So in this example, we have two models F and G that are distributed between the two parties. And let me quickly walk you through the training process involved in training the split model. Right, so um, the training works something like this. During the forward pass, the input owner takes the input X, pass it through the model F, produces the embedding Z. And this embedding is shared across to the label owner. Label owner continues forward propagation through model G, produces prediction P. And this, along with the label corresponding to the input, can then be used to compute the loss. And similarly, in the back, in the back, uh, in the back propagation step, the gradient of the loss with respect to the embedding is computed and shared back to the input owner. And since everyone has, has the gradient information now, um, both the input and the label owner can use this loss gradient to update the model parameters with the objective of minimizing the loss. And this completes one iteration of the training process and this is repeated across different examples to uh, iteratively train the models. Note that uh, in split learning, uh, both the input and the labels are not shared explicitly across, uh, across the two parties. Instead, proxies of the input and proxies of the labels are shared in the form of the embedding and the gradient. Um, while to a privacy person, this obviously does not look private, this creates the appearance of privacy because instead of directly sharing the, uh, the private data, some proxies of the private data are shared. So the goal of our work is primarily to break the solution and show that split learning in fact does not protect label privacy. And we do so by designing a high accuracy label leakage attack. Okay. 
So in this next section, um, I'll first present the threat model of our label leakage attack, and then I'll present the details of our attack exploit. Okay, so uh, our threat model involves an honest but curious adversary. So the adversary in our case is the input owner. And the goal of the input owner is to try and leak the private labels Y. So for each input X, the input owner would like to know what the corresponding private labels are. So let's look at this problem a little bit from the input owner's point of view. During the forward pass, the input owner takes the input X, produces the embedding Z, sheds it across. And in return, the during the backward pass, the input owner gets the gradient of the loss with respect to Z. And everything else on the label owner side is unknown to the input owner. So let's list out the things that are unknown. The label owner's model G is unknown. This includes both the uh, parameters of the model as well as the model architecture, let's say. The predictions made by this model are unknown. And of course, the private labels corresponding to each input uh, are also unknown, right? The only known entities here are the embedding Z that was transmitted and the gradient of the loss with respect to the embedding for, for each input. So again, the goal of the attacker is to use this uh, embedding and the gradient information to somehow try and uncover the private labels corresponding to each input. Right. So um, to this end, we propose our attack exploit. Um, so exploit frames the attack, frames the label leakage attack as an optimization problem, and it involves three key steps. So I'm going to walk you through the, the three steps involved in exploit. So note that we don't we have a lot of unknowns on the label owner side. So the first step of exploit is to replace all of the unknowns with surrogate parameters. So the unknown model G is replaced with a surrogate model G prime, which is randomly initialized. And the unknown labels Y are replaced with randomly initialized surrogate labels Y prime. Right? So step two, the adversary replaces the split learning process using these surrogate parameters and surrogate models. So the adversary takes embedding Z that are sampled from the database of embeddings, pass it through the model, through the G prime model, the surrogate model, produces some surrogate prediction P prime. And this along with the surrogate labels can be used to compute the loss. And similarly, in, in by performing backpropagation, we can compute the gradient of, of this loss. Right? So the last step of exploit is to optimize the surrogate parameters. And the insight of our work is that there are several key properties of split learning that can be leveraged to perform this optimization process. So we designed a loss function that incorporates the key properties. And so this loss function has three key terms, which I'm going to explain. So the first term here is the gradient matching uh, term. So this tries to minimize the distance between the loss, the, the loss gradient that is obtained during the original split, the original split learning process and the replaced split learning process. And this has the effect of matching up the, uh, the two gradients involved. The second term is the normalized cross entropy term. By minimizing this normalized cross entropy term, we achieve two, two goals. The first goal is that the predictions, it ensures that the predictions made by this G prime model, the surrogate model, have high accuracy with respect to the surrogate labels that we consider. The second goal it achieves is that it ensures that the individual surrogate labels that we have have low label entropy. Note that both of these properties are true of the original split learning process, since we consider um, classification tasks which have one hot labels and split, split models are primarily trained to have high accuracy. So both of these are good objectives to have. And the last term is the label prior matching term. So this term tries to minimize the KL divergence between the distribution of the, of the private labels and the distributions of the surrogate labels that we have. <laughs> so this term just helps the adversary incorporate pri label prior information into the optimization process. Right? So by minimizing this loss function, we can optimize the surrogate labels Y prime. And these surrogate labels become good estimates of the true private labels, as I'm going to show in, in our results. OK, so before I present the results, I'm going to provide a quick overview of recent prior work that have been proposed um, in the label um, leakage attack literature. And after that, I'm going to present key results comparing exploit with prior work. Right. So um, just to recap, the goal of the label leakage attacker here is to use the embedding and gradient information to uncover the private labels. And there are uh, a few recent prior works that have been proposed to, to achieve this goal. Um, so one of the first baseline attacks that we consider is a k-means attack. So this attack simply uses the embedding uh, information that is available with the adversary and tries to perform k-means clustering on this embedding 
with the objective of uncovering the private labels, you, then just simply uses unsupervised learning. Unsplit is another uh, recent concurrent work um, that was proposed to, uh, to uncover the private labels. Similar to our work, this uses the gradient matching objective in the optimization process. Uh, but unlike our work, it lacks the, um, lacks the additional regularization terms that we use in our optimization. Model completion is another recent attack. This attack works under the assumption that the adversary has access to a few labeled examples of the embedding. So some of the, um, so they assume that the labels corresponding to some of the embeddings are known. And under this assumption, they can use semi-supervised learning to uh, estimate the labels corresponding to the other embeddings. And this, and that's the way they carry out the label leakage attack. And finally, um, there's another work called, uh, another attack called the norm-based attack which was designed specifically for binary classification task with high class imbalance. And the key observation here is that they, um, they find that the, the, um, the norm of the gradient is related, can be used to estimate the, uh, the class labels. And so that's how they carry out the label leakage attack. Right, so this is just an overview of prior works. Next, I'm going to move on to presenting key results, comparing exploit with, with the prior works that I talked about. So our evaluations involve taking a, taking a specific split model and training it on a specific classification task. So here, uh, this plot presents the results for fashion MNIST. So our model was trained on fashion MNIST. And we perform the training of the split model for several epochs. And after each epoch, we carry out uh, all of the, the uh, our attack exploit as well as the other prior works. And we compare the efficacy of different attacks. So on the x-axis, we have the test accuracy. So this is just the accuracy of the split model that we're training. And on the y-axis, we have the label leakage accuracy. This measures how well the label leakage attack is performing. And the markers in X, the X markers denote the results of our work exploit, and the other markers denote the results of uh, the other prior works. So there are two key observations that I would like to make here. First, um, you can see that our at attack exploit achieves near-perfect label leakage accuracy. So we get very close to 100% accuracy for this task. And second, um, we find that exploit significantly outperforms other prior works uh, by showing that, uh, and there's like a significant gap between uh, our work as well as prior works. And so we repeat our experiments across different model architectures and data sets and show that the same results hold true. Right, so um, the last thing I'm gonna present is uh, we perform evaluations in the presence of a defense. Um, so, Differential privacy is a popular defense uh, that people use to provide principal privacy guarantees against uh, such attacks. So I carry out, we carry out evaluations in the presence of TP defense. Um, by adding various amounts of gradient noise, we can uh, sort of have this trade-off between utility and privacy. So that's the result uh, that is shown here. In the x-axis, we have the test accuracy, which measures utility. The y-axis, we have label leakage accuracy, which measures, which indirectly measures privacy. And uh, as you would expect, by increasing the amount of DP noise, you can, uh, enable protection against attacks such as ours, but this often comes at a cost of significant degradation in model utility. And the same results, the same trends hold true for other data sets and model architectures as well. All right, so uh, to conclude, um, our, we propose a high accuracy label leakage attack called exploit on split learning, and uh, our work significantly outperforms other prior works in this field and works on multi-class calculation problems. And the key takeaway here is that um, split learning really does not provide uh, any label privacy. And while defenses such as DP can help, it often comes at a cost of significant degradation in model utility. Right, that brings me to the end of my talk. I thank you for your attention and I'd be happy to take questions.